So if you can't tell by now, I nope. <laughs> I was gonna say if you uh, if you can't tell by now, I'm clearly a um, BMX Streets YouTuber. Um, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. I briefly talked about it in, I think, my second BMX Streets video. I just need to remember where it is. We might have to go on a little bit of an adventure here. There are these dirt jumps that remind me exactly of Descenders. I am going to get distracted like I normally do and, and ride another spot first. All right, let's see. I'm trying to see what we can do with this. I'm thinking maybe go up and stall on that little rail, see if that works. I want to do like a tail whip to just double peg stall. Almost like that. I just don't know if I'm going to have the, uh, uh, have the, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get back into that bank. Yes. <laughs> there's no, I can't get out of it. All right. That was very anticlimactic. I guess we'll move on here. I, I don't know what I call it. I'm going to call it skater XL syndrome where I, uh, set out to film a video. I have the title and thumbnail in mind and everything. And then on the way to the title and thumbnail, I just get completely and utterly sidetracked trying to do something else. It always happened when I used to do, um, like, Skater XL map exploration videos. I'd try to explore the whole map, but in reality, just get caught up on one little obstacle. I do think I'm starting to get the hang of directional pop, though. So, like, if I lean to one side and pop out, we do go to that side, which was nice. I was struggling with that for a little bit. But now the question is, like, can I do it to that side? You know what I mean? Like, oh, like, like double peg, double peg, double peg. A lot of pegs. Ready? So we go double peg. Ow. Maybe we have to go on the right side. Nope, that's still the left side. It just, it does not like when I do that for some reason. I think I had better luck when I locked in. No, I'm not trying to pop out on that side. Okay. Get me there. And then there. Okay. Let's just get to the purpose of this video. I do believe it's down yonder a little bit. We'll take the old, uh, the old shortcut. Perfect. I made a video talking about how big the map is in this game. And for some reason, it really, like, aggravated a lot of people. They're like, the map is too big. It's dead. There's no life in it. Blah, 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 blah. Which I totally, like, I... I, I do see that. However, coming from a Skater XL and Session back. Oh my God. I, I went to my old keyframe instead of setting a new one. I've done that so many times. I was going to say, coming from like a Skater XL and Session background, um, I don't think there's any such thing as too big of a map. I do see the deadness and I hope that gets livened up a little bit, if that makes sense. But I'll take it for now. It really doesn't like when I take hard impact. Okay, set a marker. There we go. And now we just begin our journey downwards. Lean into it. <laughs> Did I push my luck with a tail whip out? I'm him, baby. All right, it should be right up here to the right. If I remember correctly, I think it is right through here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there they are. Okay, so you can see it's just sort of this, what could be a standalone map in like Descenders or whatever. It's just this big dirt jump section of the map and it's really really cool i'm using the drone like the replay editor to kind of fly around here and uh see if there's any lines i was missing this is like the main starting point over here and then it looks if i remember correctly there's four different lines you can take there's that one on the far left there's the middle one there's this right one but i guess this right one splits into like another middle one so you can either go all the way back over that berm at the end or ride that berm at the end that's what they're called right berms still learning all this bmx lingo don't judge me or you can take it this way and then go right and come through here uh ends in a big old quarter pipe so yeah it looks like it just ends ends over over here for the most part so uh let's let's try it out i sessioned it for a little bit like i said in my uh either first or second bmx streets video oh boy meant to do that that was intentional let's go in order of difficulty in my opinion at least so we'll start far left this one's pretty straightforward we'll just straight jump it first maybe do some little tweaks or something to feel it Ow! I'm talking about how it's the easiest one and I still can't even do it. I'm unintentionally shredding right now. Damn it, the impact was too much. All right, so this one, as far as I remember, it's like four or five jumps that are just kind of straight. Right here. 
Oh my God. Why do I keep doing that? That is so much harder. Maybe we're going too easy. Maybe the game wants us to step our game up a little bit. Nope, we're just trash. I love the, what are those called? Look backs and then this way is a, I did like a tabletop or something the other time, didn't I? I just don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how I did it. Nope. What? I cased it. The problem here is like, I'm not obviously d deep in the BMX world in real life. So I, I can't pull my, this is what I do in real life card, but I'm trying to keep it somewhat realistic. <laughs> I think like someone could for, could for sure do that, right? We roll in. People can backflip, I know that. People can 360. This so far, I think I did good. Keeping this real, 360 each way. Front flip, that one might be a weird one. Like, I don't know if you, I don't know if people casually toss in front flips like mid line like that. But like, I don't see why not. And then for sure tail up. That felt really good. So that's the, that's the first, the first line, I guess you could call it. And the second one, this one is actually pretty hard. This is the one I did in my, uh, the first video on this section of the map. Okay. Can't even clear the first gap properly. So we're going to do look back 360. Oh my God. And it wasn't even called a look back. Maybe we do what we did with the first one or we just take it nice and easy. Do some little tweaks and just try to get the dude. What? There we go. Do I have enough speed? I don't. That's that's the other hard part about this is you can't only just carve around this. You have to pump. And I think the the first time I did a video on this, they hadn't updating uh, updated the pumping mechanics yet, so you had to hold down your right stick and pump with your left stick. I think now it's only the left stick, so it actually should make it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, okay. That feels really cool. Keep it right. There we go. That should be it. Yes. I'm not going to lie to you. I, uh... <laughs> Damn it, I overshot that one. I was going to say right here, I for sure tried to tail whip, but I was going to try to play it off with the one footer. You can see here, I pumped there, held it right, and then you have to pump there to get speed for this. So it's super like discombobulating. And I think I shouldn't pump before that one or else you just way overshoot it. All right, we're going to get this 360 look back. Got that down. Make it around the berm. Backflip tail up. That's what I want to do. It's going to might might take a minute, but I want to do backflip tail up over that gap. Perfect. That's it. Yep. And then just backflip 360 bar spin. Yes, <laughs> that actually felt I love when you do what you're trying to do. Wow, that was <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. That was satisfying. Look back 360. I think I should have done like a like tweaked it. I'm still working out how to still learning on how to tweak. Yeah, because if I would have tweaked that, that could have been cool. I felt like I got around these berms perfectly. Like I hit them high like I wanted to do. Backflip bar spin or backflip tail up was nice. And then backflip 360 bar spin. Oh, that was sick. Okay, pat myself on the back for that one. All right, so that's the first one, the second one, and now we're on to the third one. This is the one that kind of confuses me because I think you can take it multiple ways. Because you can either hit this one, which that might be hard to clear. When in doubt, backflip it out. Okay, we're missing that one, but let's try, see what's going on this way. Okay, I almost have to go slower if I'm gonna hit that one. How, where are you supposed to end up with that? That is, that's hard. That's the hardest line by far, I think. Unless I'm miscalculating where you're supposed to land. Cause you gotta turn. <sighs> this is a good example of why I don't like the, uh, the pumping key binded to your turning axis because i'm trying to like steer into the ramp but i also have to pump if i want to clear it i wish the pumping was um damn it i wish the pumping was bound to the triggers 
Okay, we're just going straight. No, we're not. Oh, there's a weight, dude. What? Oh, I thought that was it for sure. I landed that one perfectly right where I thought I needed to go to be lined up. And it still just like auto banked me into that one. What if though, hear me out. What if I am doing it wrong and you're actually supposed to hit it this way? How much you want to bet? Yep. All right, well, <laughs> learn something new every day. So if that's the case, we're supposed to start this one. Backflip one footer. Ooh. Where are we going now, though? Oh, I haven't been over here yet. Let's do something new. What? Uh, that's a. Uh, there it is. Oh, a suicide. It's a dark name. Do a backflip suicide. Ready? Boom. Boom. Straight into another one. Nope. <laughs> I forgot the back. Ow! All I do are backflip suicides from this point on. Okay, hold on. That's hard. Boom. Yep. Boom, boom. <laughs> All right, and then. Oh, no, I'm already going to redo this, but I'm still doing it somehow. <laughs> I saved that. <laughs> I was so out of control that whole time. Enough having fun. That's not allowed here. We only do uh, realism around these parts. Back. I, okay, I can't pump that because that just sends us over the edge speed wise. I'm going way too fast for all these. I get like a couple deep breaths. <laughs> I get so involved because it's like I am so used to session in Skater XL where I'm familiar. I'm a skateboarder. I'm familiar with all the skateboarding tricks, so it takes less brain power. Here it's like I have to remember A, what BMX tricks actually are, B, try to remember what they're called, and then C, how to do them. I'm still having a hard time figuring out the difference between how to tweak something and then how to perfect tweak something. Because that said 360 look back tweaked. But every now and then I get one that's perfectly tweaked, it says. Which I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Save that for another day. Barely made that. I forgot to not pump that. Damn. That was <laughs> that. That actually was my best one yet. Wow, okay, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, that. That felt that was way better than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so we did one, we did two, we did two and a half, and now on to three. This one, I wanna try a little challenge. We tail whip the first one. Okay, that was supposed to be a double tail whip. You can see where this is going though, right? We do one tail whip, and then we do two tail whips, and then we do three tail whips. And then we, no, I don't think I can, I can't squeeze four in there, huh? I also forget, and again, if you BMX is gonna sound so stupid, um, but like I forget that you can do like a tail whip to bar spin, to, to another tail whip if I want. Obviously in skateboarding you can't do like, I mean I guess technically you could, but you can't do like a tray flip to kick flip. But here you really can do like tricks like that or even boom, boom, Boom! Is, do people do that? That's crazy. One. Two. Oh! That was my closest one yet. But we did that thing where we launch off the side and kind of land into the side. I really want to actually clear it. One. Two, three, there's no way, how? I'm convinced it's not possible. <laughs> it, it, okay, it's possible, but I can't do it. Cause what if I, okay, let me just try not even flipping. Just literally getting to clear that final jump. Because for some reason, I just cannot line up properly for it. I always, like every time I undershoot it. I have to be timing the pumps wrong though. That's the only, uh, only explanation. So backflip, backflip tail whip, 
Backflip double tail whip. Broken bones. I challenge someone to do that. I know it's possible. So you start out, you backflip the first one, just what I've been trying. You go through, you backflip tail up the second one. You go through, you backflip double tail up the third one. And you backflip triple tail up the, th the fourth. I just cannot get speed for it. My God. I guess I'll save that for a, a separate video, but I challenge someone to do that. I'm convinced that it is uh, out of my league. We'll give it one more. It's all in the pumping. I can't do it. That being said, there is one more course of this uh, track that we haven't hit yet. And it's just what I keep doing on accident, which is taking this one into the berm. And then you end up kind of where we were already. Um, so yeah. I think, the, at least so far, there's a lot of this map that I still, to this day, haven't even explored. Um, like, I haven't found yet. But as of now, I would say that I've had the most fun. Like, I've, I've clocked in the most hours on this little dirt jump section of the entire map right now. So, it's cool, man. I, I really have been enjoying this game. One more try. I'm too stubborn to give up. All right. Backflip. Backflip tail whip. Backflip double tail whip. Backflip. I know I didn't do the backflip, but I made the triple tail whip. Oh my god. Someone please do it for me. I can't do it. Do it and tag me or something. Oh. All right. See you guys next video. Peace out.